Another planet is inside the Earth, and researchers have now found solid evidence of this alien world hidden in our home planet. Sounds crazy, but it's absolutely true. And be sure to stay tuned until the end for spectacular images. If you like it, I'd be galactically delighted if you gave it a thumbs up and left a comment. That way we can get the YouTube algorithm to show this exciting topic to even more people. Thank you guys, and welcome. You've probably all admired the moon on a clear night and wondered where it actually comes from. While ancient peoples usually thought the moon was some kind of deity, flat earthers here on YouTube have completely different theories. What we think, some people believe the moon's made of cheese. What do you think the moon is made of? What I know the moon is, it's a luminary. That's all I know. What? what it shines. It's a luminary. It's, it's, a, it's a luminary of some sort. So I can't go beyond that. Scientists also have a few ideas, and there are actually several theories about the origin of the moon. One, for example, is the double planet theory, which states that the Earth and the moon could have a common origin, having formed from the same material. Four to five billion years ago, when the solar system was formed, a protoplanetary accretion disk of rock, dust, and ice moved around the young sun. According to the double planet theory, the Earth and the Moon could have formed at exactly the same time and in close proximity from this cosmic debris. Then, there is the capture theory. This states that the Moon was formed as an independent celestial body in the solar system and was perhaps just about to become a planet in its own right, but was then caught by the Earth's gravity and forced into an orbit around the Earth. It would then have been captured by the Earth in the truest sense of the word. However, the most probable and scientifically recognized theory is the collision theory. This states that around four and a half billion years ago, another planet the size of Mars called Theia collided with the young Earth. Huge amounts of matter and energy were released during this violent encounter. Theia was completely torn apart, large parts of the Earth splintered off, and the debris from this collision formed the Moon over time. If this is true, then when we look up at the Moon, we see a broken off piece of Earth. Basically, a part of us in space. Just like when your spleen is torn out after an accident, and you can now admire it every day. What? Let's take a little poll. Which theory do you think is most likely? Or do you know any others? How do you think the moon was formed? Feel free to let me know in the comments. I'm looking forward to hearing what you think. There are several arguments in favor of the collision theory. For example, the geological age data of the moon's rock, which is around four and a half billion years old, perfectly matches the time of the presumed collision. Flat earthers would of course object that we have not examined any moon rocks because the moon landings never took place. NASA is not always honest to us. I've displayed skepticism about the moon landing a few times now. I don't know for sure if the moon landing really happened or if it was all a big lie. This is of course nonsense, but fortunately there is now a super exciting new discovery that allows us to test the collision theory right here on Earth. Researchers say they have detected the remains of Theia, the Mars-sized planet that crashed into Earth. What makes you think that? The magic word is LLVP. I know funny magic word. That stands for Large Low Shear Velocity Provinces. These LLVPs are huge areas in the Earth's interior that are located at the transition between the core and the mantle. They are characterized by a lower speed at which seismic waves travel through them compared to the surrounding materials. These regions are denser and probably have a different chemical composition than the rest of the Earth's mantle. Imagine you have a delicious, fluffy chocolate muffin, as I now happen to have. Its density is not particularly high because it is made of fluffy dough, but there is a large area of solid chocolate under the surface. The density is higher here, and potential seismic waves would propagate more slowly through the muffin. We are dealing with an LHCP here, a large high chocolated province. Science can be so simple. No one has yet been able to explain LLVPs properly. One theory is that they were formed by internal processes on Earth, such as the remains of old tectonic plates or areas with elevated temperatures. However, somehow no one was really convinced. 
But now researchers from the Shanghai Astronomical Observatory in China have presented spectacular new results. They say that the LLVPs, the chocolate chunks in the terrestrial muffin, are pieces of Taya. Involved researcher Hongping Deng says, our results challenge the traditional idea that the giant impact led to the homogenization of the early Earth. Instead, the moon-forming giant impact appears to be the origin of the heterogeneity of the early Earth's mantle and marks the starting point for the geological evolution of the Earth over the course of four and a half billion years. The simulation of the Chinese researchers suggests that the Thea remnants and the Earth material mixed in the upper mantle in the early history of the Earth, while the lower mantle remained largely composed of silicate-containing Earth material. Exactly this layering could still exist today in the form of the LLVPs, so in principle, this is another piece of the puzzle, which makes the collision theory even more plausible, because it now not only explains the formation of the Moon, that it was formed from parts of Thea, was relatively well recognized. It also explains the blobs within the Earth, as it now looks like parts of Theia are not only in the Moon, but also here in the Earth. Here you can see the novel computer simulation done by the researchers that perfectly shows how the Theia material has dispersed throughout the Earth. How much of Theia is in us, the researchers calculated that around 2 to 3% of the Earth's mass comes from Theia. So Theia lives on in the Earth, and our Earth is no longer the same as it was before the collision with Theia. It has evolved, like a Pokemon and Theia was the special candy. Or something like that. Well, and this evolution of the Earth could be the key to its uniqueness. Geophysicist Chen Yuan says, the moon formation collision may have had a long-lasting influence on the entire evolution of the Earth. Therefore, it could be a fundamental factor in why Earth is geologically different from other rocky planets. So there's a lot to suggest that we wouldn't be here now without the collision with Theia. Thank you, Theia, and thanks to you too, by the way, because thanks to you, my channel is growing and the content is reaching more and more people. If everyone who hasn't subscribed yet would do so now and you would recommend the channel to other space-loving friends, I would be very happy. Thank you so much for your support, guys. It's always fascinating to realize how little we actually know about our universe. And the following discovery falls into this category. Researchers believe they have discovered a new element outside the periodic table, and it is in a mysterious asteroid. What this element is all about, why the periodic table might be incomplete and an exciting photo of the mysterious asteroid, you can find out all about it in the video below. Be sure to take a look, it's really, really exciting. And if you want to support my work, then as always visit my Astro store and buy the t-shirts from the videos, Cuddly Plush Planets, or Real Meteorites. There's something for everyone, I promise. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, friends.